Hello everybody, Scott Golden here with the Golden Opportunities Coaching YouTube channel. Welcome to those of you who are new. Welcome back to those of you seasoned veterans of what we do around here. What we do around here is bring about conversations of a psychological, mental health, emotional health, and coaching paradigm as often as we can, usually several times per week we do that for your listening pleasure. In any event, this is kind of a how to be more likable audio, and um, <clears throat> there's a couple ways to be more likable. Obviously, if you're looking to improve social Queuing at any level, please feel free to reach out at PO Perception on Twitter and or in the About Me section of this YouTube page. Either one, get you in touch with me or a member of my team. We can go from there. But in any event, um, feel free to reach out. Uh, a couple of things. People like people that they feel are going to be helpful to them. So if you provide a service or value to the person that you are trying to connect with, they will like you better because obviously what have you done for me lately is a common phrase, but it's also a reminder that in the end, people like people based on how they feel they can benefit from the connection. And so if you bring an automatic benefit such as but not listening to being or not limited to being a good listener or uh, providing knowledge, providing sympathy, providing a physical substance, food, shelter, money, whatever it is. If you provide something to an individual, they're going to like you at a whole other level because at the end of the day, you're benefiting them immediately. And the quicker you can show your benefit and articulate your benefit, the more people are going to be inclined to reach out to you. Chances are people are going to like you better also if they've seen you in a group setting first so they can see how you interact with others. Human beings make judgments based on how other people interact um, with other people. In other words, the judgment is, can I trust this person based on how they treat others? If they treat others well, they're going to treat me well. If they treat others Harshly, they're going to treat me harshly. So your conduct of how you treat others at any given moment is going to be an indicator of how trustworthy and how safe you are. A lot of people don't realize this, especially if they're having a bad day or they're lashing out, how they are seen and interpreted within the first 30 to 60 seconds of someone interacting with them in a group setting can, can shape a lot of how their relationships go in the future. And this is why dating can be difficult or misconceptions can be developed, mainly not because a person is unwilling to give you a chance, but if they make a decision that you're unsafe or unkind, within the first few minutes of meeting you um, in a group setting, they're less likely to give you the opportunity to show your, show your true self in a way that is beneficial for you. The next thing is you're willing to admit to mistakes or hardships. So people don't like to be around others who they feel are constantly going to judge them or constantly going to be harsh on them for not having their life together. So if you are willing to admit, hey, I've got this weakness over here, hey, I've got this challenge over there, and you're willing to be open to that, um, then they are going to look at you as someone they can relate to, someone that's relatable, someone that they can be comfortable with, someone they can be honest with, and someone they don't have to pretend with. If the more perfect you seem, the more unlikable you become. And a lot of times this le leads to a lot of challenges as it relates to how people see us because when we think that perfectionism and looking a certain way is going to make us more relatable. The truth is actually the opposite of that in the sense of many people feeling that if someone is too good to be true or someone is not necessarily in the their wheelhouse, then they're going to be there. They're going to also look to you to see the type of compliments that you give and the type of interactor you are so if you are willing to compliment others genuinely and people can usually within a you know the first couple of minutes to a couple of days of meeting somebody figure out whether their compliments are genuine or whether they're just smoke screening but once a person understands that you genuinely care about others you're genuinely kind you're genuinely willing to uh, see outside of yourself and be connected with others and try and make their day better they're going to be more comfortable with you so um, being willing to live Listen to them without giving advice, without interrupting, without judging, without uh, condemning or giving unsolicited uh, encouragement is, is also another factor. So the quality of listener you are will affect how you relate with others. And so this is super valuable. Hopefully it's helpful to you as you move forward. I encourage you to keep your feet on the ground, your mind in the moment. Until next time, everybody.